late if you're one hour late you're late if you're three hours late you're late you're late i want to see how jamaican roads stay the highway gonna look pretty but when you when you drive by the highway you know if i see how the car go guys welcome back to another video it's your girl debs for everybody who have been subscribing for other persons who are watching my video thank you very much if you haven't subscribed or watch my video and you just happen to just buck up on the video just get a watch subscribe and share with a friend now today to be honest may i come to in a one different mood because me in a one sad and down mood and like me confused about a lot of things because I don't know if you notice how from March come in we have a much car accident on the road. Especially alright, so I just wash my hair so just to talk to no one may try sound out my hair. So especially on the highways how much accident just a happen, just a happen, just a happen all because a speeding people if you not go no way on a late on a late if you're one second late you're late if you're one hour late you're late if you're three hours late you're late you're late i want to see how jamaican roads stay the highway gonna look pretty but when you when you drive by the highway you know if i see how the car go Jamaican highway have a much hidden patrol. You just have fling your so there's a fling your and can you imagine speeding? Band them a highway. Yeah? Every day me I go to work or me I come from work, me I see one accident on the road and it gets so frequent. It happens so often. Like when I left in the yard, I go back. Yeah, me know say nobody no know the time and the place or when they go dead, but come, some things can be avoided. Because if you are drive, and you drive to read someone because you're late, somebody go off your vex. Make people vex. You're late just for, for reach one back to no family. People go off your wait. If you're late, you're late. If you work, you go. And you're late, you're late. What you going to do? What you boss do? You're late. When you crash on the road and you're dead or you're in the hospital, you are not reach and no work. You are not reach where you go. You understand? You are not reach because you're there somewhere else. So sometimes you look here, man. People, me not like what me I say. Me not like what me I say because me myself truck that daytime go go work, taxi me take. I mean, I tell you, say, the road not nice. The road not nice. And too much young people, no, come on, man. You know, have a fast car, them. And I them find them a Jamaican road, yeah. Fast car, no means, say, you go drive fast. Are you, you're supposed to drive fast. Not on these roads. Fast car, no, no means, say, you have to drive fast. Because, honestly, I think set up already. Them a road and a road, and with with speeding, you know, that I want anything with speeding. You see, by the time you see something, and you feel react, or you feel save yourself, or save somebody, or try to avoid an accident, by the time you look so good, I eat that. So if you look on the fact and say, if you did a drive. Now your regular speed are within the speed zone, right? Within the speed, the speed limit where you're supposed to go. A lot of things could be avoided. A lot of these accidents could have been avoided. Now, when you look, and it's so funny, and you see me as a mother, then I want to think when I'm afraid about girl. So when I'm putting them going to school at the time, I'm afraid. Because I know say. Bus drivers and taxi drivers, especially when they carry school picnic, they know he's up. You understand? And me I tell them, me had pain me at the time. Everything say, 
I send my picnic them gone to school you now and by the time I look, I get a, a call to say my picnic in an accident or something wrong. I don't like them, I don't like them, I do like young people's life cut short because I sound easily cut things that could be avoided. You understand? Because a lot of accidents could be avoided, you know? Because of one thing alone that caused the accident. And the fact is, persons are speed. A speed in a cause the accident now. And come on man. When you left the yard, put out the effort because anything can happen to anybody, you know. Because I know mean, nobody not perfect. Anything can happen. But try your best for reach back home. Try your best to reach back home safely. You understand? Anywhere you run go, you can stay. Anyway, anything you have speed for reach. He can stay. It can stay. You don't need fear run go no way. If you miss it, you miss it. If you don't miss it, that's so. But you really want to just take your life for, the, for your speed. And especially persons who are speed are under the influence of alcohol. That is another red flag. So if you even go on party, right? Have somebody else in our car when I drink. That means, say, uh, that is money they can drive. You understand? That is money they can drive. But come on, man. You drive under the influence. You drive with you drive your speed. You everything in a one. None of that no make no sense. That just come like you rule out yourself like any day you now. I that. You understand? No, come on, man. Ease down on the road with the speeding because Jamaica road and no road for speed. We don't have no road for speed, I swear. We don't have no road for speed. God, not even the highway. At first, you drive by one highway, so we know the funny highway. You, you come like you, they drive through some rock. You go through the rock. You just have flick up, you they flick down, then the highway up here and underground path wall, did they? Because they're not, they're not straight. So you have to take time on the road, man. Save on a life. If I go for one more day, save on a life. You know, say nobody don't know when they go dead. But some of them things, some of them, some of them accidents and things will happen. And we call them for ourselves, to be honest. And we call them for ourselves. Come on, man. Ease up the speed. Then we want to run a gun. Want to run a gun. Especially in the matter, I'm saying since March come in, a beer accident since March come in, the accident rampant on the road. Hey, you don't take time, man. If you don't even want to take time for yourself, take time for others. Take time to drive for others, man, because enough time the accident will happen. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes you drive them dead, but you have passengers in your car where. Maybe if they said to you, say, if you slow down, and you not slow down, but at the end of the day, whatever happened in that car affect not only you, but the passengers that are in the car. Baby could be in the car, a pregnant somebody could be in the car, anybody, an elderly person. So when you know do things, not just do things for fool yourself. And if you are driving around car and you want in the car, still not give the ride for, for speed. Because you can speed and you and me say even the other day, Mrs. One little boy, one little school picnic across the road for go to school. And the car lick down the lick the picnic flying up in the air and dropping down a ground. I mean I tell her for the whole day. Me nervous come here. I say, can you imagine you just send out your picnic? He just say, Mommy, later me gone to school. And he say, All right, take care on the road or whatever. Love you, whatever. Only like less than 10 minutes to get a call. Say, hey, something happened to your picnic on the road and I want to carry like him. Eh? You know, them doesn't feel them doesn't. Hey, me I tell you that I'm my biggest fear. Every day, if you send out my picnic, you know, I say, You know, do a time when no school, no kid. In other sense, me want them go to school, and me all right, so they never the face to face because they in the house, and me know so they go to school, me know so they in no danger like 
no accident danger they not for the go to door they not for the yo me I tell them and since march come in since march come in accident upon accident is every day every single day Penny road and i just one and i just two and i just three you understand accident reports are so coming in accident accident there's so accident there's so come on man if you drive not drive for yourself alone and the people them who kill this funny road drive to, to preserve your life drive to going back to your family if you ever live alone you must have relative will love you and a check for you drive to, to, to prevent the grief there because sometimes you're in an accident and you're not even dead you're not even dead but sometimes you have spinal injury your foot broke hand broke by the time you look to all your foot broke, you can't walk straight again. You constantly have pain all over your body. So a lot of things come with accident different from just death. You understand? A lot of lifetime injuries come, lifetime of pain. Like, and then at the sudden now, you know, all the regrets are coming because you say if me did know me that slow down, if me did know me would overtake this up, if me did know me that me would run a stoplight. If me didn't know appear if me didn't know I got you but it already happened you understand so the time pre 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 to prevent certain things is when you're actually in the 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 the, the app you understand when you actually are drive think in your head say all right me no need for speed guy hey you know make no sense anyway me I go me late they have to wait if I saw me the case, I don't want to argue. What may I go do? Be late. And me say already, if you are one second late, you are late. If you are an hour late, you are late. Two hours, three hours, one day late, you're late. So late are late. So come on, man. Do things. Look out for others. For others. Preserve life. Preserve your life. You understand? Because a lot of them things can be avoided. And Look here, just slow down on the road. And for the people them who actually have license, yeah, but a lot of that again, a lot of people have license, but they don't understand the road code. Come on, man, spend some time because you know, after buy a book, you know, Google road code, put it on speaker if you can read and make it make it book, make it a read itself. And you understand certain things because what we understand that everybody have a driver's license can read. And everybody have a driver's license and know the road code. And then again, you have some persons who have their driver's license. They can read and they understand the, the, the road code, but then just reckless. And in the hyper things, they might do this, they might do that. But at the end of the day, they not understand, say, shit, like, the worst can happen. The worst can happen, yo. When we pass while we're accident on the road, you know, me see how the car crush, you know. Hey, me I tell them blood run cold. Come here, say, damn. Shit. Nothing that blood the pan a car, you know. Over the design, there's nothing pan a car. You know, take nothing for crush out a car. You know, take nothing for crush a car. Look and see if I can lick in on one light post. By the time I lick in on light post, what? The whole front end smash in. Like, like, not even a little toy car them. You understand? In front, mash right in. There's nothing on a car. We can just say, hey, if me get a wicked lick, I hit that. Everything crushed. So people, please, if you not see me video, if you not see me video, take time on the road. Do me a big enough preserve life, not only just phone or life, preserve others' life. Take time on the road, man. Speeding kills, and we see that every day. And then you have a certain time of the year when it get wicked, like March. No, no the seas away. By the time you look at be an accident, you say, Take time on the road, man. Take time, preserve life, preserve your life. Because if you love yourself, certain things. Yeah, try to prevent. Try your best to prevent a lot of things. And on level a yard and a pray and cover on yourself and cover on a pitney. Pray for safety. Me know say 
some things you know because your destiny your destiny but sometimes i will push it sometimes we play neglectful and we play hard yes and we push things so please guys please me a big enough you know, take time on the road take time on the road please me a big enough you know, take time on the road too much things are going on take time on the road that a man message to know today so me now go stretch out this no longer because me know so me come to a point me stay at my point when me want to stay at you know, just take time on the road just take time drive and everybody have a blessed day for the persons who have families or have a, had a relative who met in an accident or whatever the case may be and you're grieving or you have a death a loved one who died in a car accident or whatever my condolences to you and your family i know that death death is a process and it's a grieving process and it's a hard process you understand and i didn't think there may want to see people take time out and go the regular limit to prevent on a family them from certain grief you understand so for everyone who is grieving a loved one or have a loved one in the hospital suffering from any injury or injuries caused by an accident a car accident bike accident any kind of accident just my condolences and my sincere apologies for anything that happened and just look here and just stay blessed and stay safe that's all i can say stay blessed and stay safe because of that may i try to do too stay blessed and stay safe so i'll see you in the next video so i'm gonna bless up on yourself